welcome in this module we will discuss logic synthesis as mentioned in the introductory lectures logic synthesis comes after the high level synthesis step the objective of high level synthesis was to obtain a macro level architecture of the circuit in terms of uh, functional units number of registers numbers and types of muxes demuxes buses etc the objective of the logic design or logic synthesis on the other hand is to obtain the micro level architecture of the circuit in terms of gates and flip flops so the input to the logic synthesis step are in terms of the rtl assignments and fsms so at the output of the high level synthesis step we obtained a set of rtl assignments register transfer level assignments and we said that the controller fsm will control at which time step which of these rtl assignments are to be excited or activated now these comes this f this controller fsm and the rtl f assignments come as input to the logic synthesis step and the output to the logic synthesis step is a structural realization of the circuit through gates and flip flops and the data structure that is used to represent such a structural realization is called a gate level netlist so logic synthesis process starts with an fsm specification and culminates in a structural realization in the form of a sequential circuit as we know a sequential circuit consists of memory elements along with optional combinational elements as well this figure shows the overall structure of any sequential circuit it has an optional combinational part it has memory elements and outputs the outputs are also optional the inputs to the memory elements and the outputs are a function of the outputs of the memory elements which are fed back to the combinational part and also the external inputs the memory elements are realized through flip flops however realizing a sequential circuit design in terms of gates and flip flops also requires a many optimization steps and why are essentially these optimizations required because the gate level um, design has also many uh, many choices in terms of the delay performance and power requirements of the circuit fundamentally two sequential circuits may exhibit the same io behavior but contain a different number of internal states so therefore the design must be simplified by reducing the number of gates and flip flops now basically reducing the number of states also reduces the cost of the circuit so what are the basic steps in logic synthesis the first is state reduction then state encoding and assignment then we have to choose resources the types of flip flops and gates to use then we have to derive flip flop input equations and output equations for the type of flip flop that we have chosen and we have to do logic minimization after all these steps we will obtain a structural realization of the circuit so the first step state reduction so what is the objective reduce the number of flip flops in a sequential circuit while keeping the external io requirements unchanged so we want to reduce the number of states we said that there can be two different realizations with two different number of states for the same input output behavior since m flip flops produce 2 to 3 power m states a reduction in the number of states may result in a reduction in the number of flip flops so we know that each flip flop can hold one bit of information through one flip flop i can define two states and hence uh, to obtain a structural realization of an fsm which has 2 to the power a m states we require at least m flip flops however reduction of states may or may not result in the reduction in the number of flip flops for example let us say if the number of states in an fsm is between 8 and 16 we require at least four flip flops so if we reduce the number of states from say 15 to 9 
we will still require four flip flops to obtain a structural realization of this FSM and hence we won't obtain a reduction in the number of flip flops. However, if we if we are still using that same four flip flop design and then we have done a state reduction and this reduction has resulted in the number of states reducing from 12 to 7 then previously if you were using four flip flops now we will be able to realize the same design using three flip flops an unpredictable effect in reducing the number of flip flops is that sometimes the equivalent circuit may require more combinational gates and why is that so? Because I have reduced the number of states. We require more combinational logic to obtain the inputs and hence the resulting circuit may have a bigger area, may require a bigger area than the, the circuit which used more flip flops. Now we will understand how state reduction is realized. We will take this sample FSM for uh, understanding uh, how state reduction is done. So in this FSM we see that A is the initial state. This FSM consists of seven states A, B, C, D, E, F, G. On this FSM we will now take a sample sequence and see what is the input output sequence and what are the next states. So the initial state is A. When we get the input 0 we produce the output 0 and go to the next state A. If the current state is A and the input is 1, we produce the output 0 and go to the next state B. Now, how do we do state reduction? We do state reduction by finding out equivalent states. Two states are equivalent if for each member of the set of inputs, they give exactly the same output and send the circuit either to the same state or an equivalent state. So let us say we have two arbitrary states x and y. What do we have to do? We have to find out that for all possible inputs, here we have two inputs 0 and 1. Do they go on each of these inputs to the same uh, next state and do they produce the same output? If that is so, then we can say that these two states are equivalent. And if two states are equivalent, over all sets of inputs, they produce the same next state and same output, then we can remove one of these states. This is how we do state reduction. In this FSM that we have, we obtain the corresponding state table first. And here there are two states G and E which are equivalent. And why are they equivalent? Because for both these states, when the input is x, x equals to 0, they go to the same next state A. When the input is 1, on the other hand, they go to the same next state F. When the input is x, the same, both of them produce the same output. And when the input is um, uh, x equals to 1, they again produce the same output 1. So in terms of both next states and outputs, they are same. And hence, one of these states here, G, we have decided to remove. So the row with present state G is removed and state G is replaced by state E each time it occurs in the next state columns. So when G is removed, G cannot appear in the next state, next state columns anymore. So wherever G was previously there, if you see the previous state G here at F, we had G. So we have to replace this G with the E because for each place in the next state columns where G occurred we have to now replace it with E and then we have to continue the same thing. After G is removed and G is, has been replaced by E in the next state columns we see that the present state F now has next states E and F and output 0 and 1 for x equals to 0 and x equals to 1. Same next states and outputs for D as well. So what we are trying to point is that D and F are equivalent. Hence we can remove one of them. Here we have decided to remove F. So if we remove F then 
all the places in the next eight columns where f is is currently there has to be changed with d so likewise we see that here uh, we have d and here again we have d so therefore state f can be removed and replaced by d we finally obtain this realization of the fsm it is a reduced fsm the original fsm contains seven states the changed fsm can now contains five states however we will see that uh, uh, for all sequences of inputs it is going to produce the same sequences of outputs and hence both the uh, the input output behavior of both these fsms are identical after obtaining such a, a state um, a reduction we will now have to do state assignment now a structural realization cannot use the letter names for the states a b c d e we have to use binary coded names and therefore we have to use uh, an encoding scheme and encode the states with 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 that particular encoding scheme here we have shown three distinct encoding schemes so this one is a simple binary encoding this one is gray code and this one is one hot encoding and in this uh, uh, diagram we have shown that with simple binary encoding this is what we get so when the input is a uh, we have represented a with 0000 and the hmm, and the present state is x equals to 0 we remain at the same uh, state a and hence the the output state is also 000 right the present state is 00 um, which is a and the next state will also be a and hence this is also 00 when the input x equals to 1 it goes to state b and produces output 0 so therefore uh, b has been encoded with 001 and the um, the output produced is 0 the encoding scheme is this a is 000 b is 001 C is 0, 1, 0, D is 0, 1, 1, and E is 1, 0, 0. This is the simple encoding scheme that we have used. Okay, and after we have obtained the state encoding, now we have a reduced FSM with binary coded encoding scheme, and now we are ready to obtain a design. The next work is to choose flip flops and here we have chosen d flip flops to design okay we have taken another sample fsm um, this is a mood type fsm the output is produced at the states so here is an assignment using the simple binary scheme um, because this is a four state fsm it can be realized using two flip flops and the state encoding that we have chosen is simple binary and s0 here is 00, zero s1 is 0, 01 s2 is 10 and s3 is 11 right and here is the state table con uh, corresponding to the state diagram here and uh, when the present state ab is 00, zero that is we are at s0 and the input is 0 uh, we remain at 00, zero that is in s0 and the output produced again is 0. When the present state is uh, 0, 0 the, and the input is 1, we produce the next state uh, 0, 1 that is we go to S1 and the output is again 0. At S1 again say at 0 when the present state is 0, 1 at S1 when the input is 0 we go back to state is 0 and the output is uh, 0 and likewise we proceed now from this state table uh, we can obtain the flip flop input equations and the output equations now because this is a d flip flop it is simple to obtain because the next state values in the state table specify the d input conditions for the flip flop and hence uh, the next state values tell me the d input conditions right so we want to obtain the input conditions for the d flip flops and the output uh, right 
So A T plus 1 equals to D A A B X equals to 357. Min term number 3, min term number 5 and min term number 7 produce a 1 here. Right? We see that this one, this one and this one produce a 1. So min, min term number 3, 5 and 7 produce a 1. For B, in the, we see that a 1 is produced here, here and here. So at min term number 1, min term number 5 and min term number 7. So the output is produced for 157. And the output y a b x equals to 6 7. Why? Because the output is 1 in, in, these, two, in, in these two rows. So this is min term number 6 and min term number 7. So after we have obtained the conditions for which the flip-flop flip inputs and the outputs should be 1, we will try to do a uh, logic minimization. Here we have shown a very simple logic minimization using Carnot maps. So next state values in the state table specify the D input conditions for the flip-flop. And we know that if because it is 357, this one is 0113, this one is uh, um, um, 101, which is 5, and this one is 111, which is 7. And after simplification of this, we find that dA equals to ax plus bx. Likewise, we obtain for db, db equals to ax plus b bar x and y equals to a b. So this is how we obtain the input equations and output equation. After obtaining the input equation equations and output equation, we can obtain a structural realization of the circuit. Here we see that this one produces a x, this one produces B, um, bx this one produces bx this one is b and this one is x and um, hence this gate produces bx and this d equals to ax plus bx similarly this for this input we see that it is equals to ax plus b bar x and y equals to ab we come to the end of this module